And here we go, we have some interesting news coming out of Indianapolis. The Colts are actually signing a defensive tackle, Raquan Davis, according to Adam Schefter. He tweets out, former Dolphins defensive tackle Raquan Davis is signing a two-year, $14 million base value deal with the Colts, according to his agent. Now, in this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about Raquan Davis and why this is actually a very solid pickup for the Indianapolis Colts. Before we jump into the video, though, make sure you guys do me a big favor and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's free, doesn't cost anything, but also comment down below what do you think the Colts need to do better this offseason? They haven't made like any moves so far this offseason. Where do they need to improve the most going into the NFL draft? Give me some names, give me some free agents and positions of need going forward. But let's jump into Raekwon Davis and what he brings to the Colts. Now, when we sit back and watch some Raekwon Davis film, there is one thing that stands out to me is his size. He's kind of big, 6'7", 335 pounds, right? But a second round pick out of Miami or out of Alabama to Miami. He's been in the NFL for about four years now, tallying up over 120 tackles. 59 solo, two and a half sacks, but as well, 12 and a half run stuffs. Not as good as a lot of people thought he was going to be coming out of Alabama, but sometimes in the NFL, all you need is a little bit of a change of scenery, and that can really help you break out. Now, the one thing about Indianapolis is they have some guys up front that they really, really like. For example, Grover Stewart, right? DeForest Buckner, they like these guys. Then you have Samson Ubicom and Quiddy Pay. So they have guys up front that they do like. However, I think Raekwon Davis can add a sense of, uh, of sense of you know depth, rotation off the bench. Whenever you deal with an injury, you need rotation pieces. You need depth. And Raekwon Davis is a guy that can do exactly that, right? Big body, uh, can really plug up the middle a little bit, but needs to get a little bit better from here. Now, in Indianapolis... They actually were interesting. So last year, they ranked number 24 in rush yards allowed per game and number 29 in rushing touchdowns per game. Raekwon Davis is a guy you're going to see on the goal line a lot. He's going to get into the game with Grover Stewart and DeForest Buckner, and he's going to try to stop the run. That is his main goal. I don't think he's going to be an all three player or an all three down player. I think he's going to be, you know, a spot starter, a guy you can throw in on rotation, a locker room guy, gets hyped, man. He is get gets hyped loves the atmosphere of playing football and i think a guy that just enjoys playing football overall so obviously this is an interesting pickup i thought the colts run defense last year was actually pretty good but the only downside was their offense was you know not great which allowed teams to go ahead early and just start running the football now and that's exactly why you saw last season they had a top 10 run defense in terms of yards allowed per carry right so they're up there they need to get a little bit better anthony richardson coming back getting healthy is a very good sign I think this signing doesn't change too much. It's not a needle threader by any means, but there is a lot of other things that they need to do, right? Obviously, A. Ritz gets back healthy. You still bring back Michael Pittman. You have Alec Pierce, Joshua Downs, uh, JT, John the Taylor will be back on the team next year as well. Um, I think the DB room might need a little bit of change. Now, they're allowing this 22nd, or they rank 22nd in terms of yards allowed per pass, 17 in terms of yards allowed per game in the pass area, um, and also 12 in interception percent. This is a team in Indianapolis that was like solid right they were very solid and they feel like they're just one piece away from being taken over or going over the hump and being a playoff team they were number four in sack percentage and they just got better up front as well so i don't know man i don't know what they need to do next as colts fans you tell me what do the colts need to do where do they need to address going forward they re-signed kenny moore you still have nick cross and, and juju brents um but other than that ronnie thomas the former seventh round pick dallas flowers is okay I feel like they, they really need to hit in this draft, and they really could. So hit, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.